Welcome back to Maths with Mr. Duffield with a special request to go through some of my um, LE prep, a bit of a foundation GCSE paper. Foundation, it's actually really straightforward. You can't get more than a grade five on a foundation paper. So these marks practically get themselves. Let's get going. Write down the mode of the number of visits to the gym from this table showing the number of visits each of 40 adults made to the gym last week. Of course, they're not really going to be going this week, are they? Anyway, um, the mode means the uh, most common, yeah? The most occurring figure. Uh, now, which, which which one of these numbers of visits to the gym has the highest frequency? That is the mode. Well, I hope you can see that that's, um, that's two. So my answer for A is that the mode is two. Uh, part B, find the median of the number of visits to the gym. To work out the median, we need to go halfway up the total frequency. Now, we do that by finding the total frequency and, and then halving it. The total frequency is going to be um, the sum of all of those items in uh, all of those frequencies. So 4 plus 3 plus 12 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1. That gives me 40. That is the total frequency. Now, the median is going to be halfway, which is, uh, well, 40 divided by 2, 20. Halfway up. The first four people in this survey um, went to the gym zero times. The next three people went once, 12 went, went two times, 4, 7, 19. The 20th person... The 20th person will visit the gym three times. If we, if we think about this in terms of a, a running total of people, I've added some extra numbers here. Uh, at the start of this uh, kind of data registry, there were zero people. Four people go zero times. And then I'm up to seven people once I've seen how many people have been to the gym once. 19 people, 7 plus 12, by the time I've checked off all the people who have been to the gym twice. And so it continues. The 20th person, therefore, between 19th and 24th, has been to the gym three times. Meaning the median, in this case, is three. Sorry about the shadow. It's, it's quite early in the morning, um, as I record. Work out the mean of the number of visits to the gym. The mean number of visits is adding together the total number of visits and dividing by how many people there are. That is um, a little trick uh, I can achieve by basically multiplying the number of visits to the gym for each group uh, by the frequency of that number of visits. So all of these are going to be multiplied and then after all of those have been multiplied I'm going to add them all together and then divide by the total frequency, 40. So let me write that up in a, in a bit of a longer, longer form, okay? It's 0 times 4 plus 1 times 3 plus 2 times 12 plus 3 times 5. I'm getting all of these numbers from the relevant sections of the, of the table above. Plus 4 times 8 plus 5 times 5 plus 6 times 2 plus 7 times 1. That's the sum of all of the visits to the gym. And um, adding those all together is what we want to do. Uh, so let me do that. 1 times 3 is 3, 24, 15, 4 times 8 is 32, 25, 12, and 7. That adds up to 118. Now to work out the mean, we take that total number of visits to the gym, 118, and then divide it by 40, the total frequency. Okay, 118 divided by 40 is uh, 2.95. So on average, they're, they're almost getting to three visits um, a week. That's the mean. And then part D, my last question, write down the probability that this adult made more than five visits to the gym last week. Well, more than five is six or seven, isn't it? So I'm looking at these two frequencies, two and one. Okay, so 2 plus 1 out of 40. 
That's 3 out of 40. That is an acceptable probability. Although I'm, you know, if I wanted to express that as a decimal, I could say um, 0.075. Okay, there it is. That's the um, whole question. Finding the mode, just the most common, the median, halfway up the total frequency, finding the mean by multiplying the number of visits by the frequency and then adding it all together, dividing by the total frequency, and then we can uh, apply it more specifically to probabilities by just using a bit of common sense and understanding what the question says. I hope that that helps. It's a bit of a long one, this one. Hopefully they won't get much longer. Uh, take care. I'll see you soon.